Okay, today I will talk about the big man equation, but first of all, yeah, I just explore some definition, and after that, big man distance, and then uh, big man iteration. Uh, let us start with the convex set. Maybe uh, you guys know about that. For the the convex set, uh, the set is convex. It, if, uh, if uh, each two points in that convex, if you just uh, connect to one straight line, that line is uh, uh, in that uh, set again. So this one is a convex set. And for example, if we have something like that, this one is the non-convex. And another definition is for the convex function. This one is the convex uh, function because uh, for each two, uh, two points in yeah on this function, uh, these two points are convex. Yeah, just create the convex set.
is a J of V minus the yeah. unit of product. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it's J of V. Yeah. Times of minus. Yeah, minus. No, it's just plus. It's plus. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can you explain about geometry? Yes, you can map this formula to the to the figure you just want. Yeah, this one is a uh, break by distance is the definition. Uh, it's not the usual uh, distance. And uh, we just define the break by distance. Yeah. Something like yeah. that. Okay. That we have the J U this one. And just found the yeah, just yeah. This one is the Taylor. of the, 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 uh, the function g, j, and then the b. So here, if we just find the, the p as a gradient of the, this function on this point, so we just continue this one here, and should be this one is as a distance. Why do you need P there? Actually, P is given J P is determined, right? It, it, the, the notation is a bit weird. It, it looks like you, I only need to say D J U V. Why need the P? The P is the gradient you said, right? Because, uh, because we use the break uh, distance in the break iteration. So, and uh, we want to find. Just, just, we just try to oh. move the V to near to uh, U. So you mean sometimes I will approximate the distance with not the P at that point? Yeah, and the P is just yeah because the V is not uh, it's not the same for all of the all of the this uh, Riemann distance for the Riemann iteration, and we just move the V to just to just, yeah just change the V uh, position to find the minimum of the this distance. Um, but you change the V P P just go with you, right? I, I mean, I mean this one is just the, yeah, this definition is not my definition. Yeah, I, I, so I'm just curious, like if the J and V P is defined, right? Why why do I need to put P there? I still don't say why. I you mean this one here? Yeah, P is just the gradient. You said like P is just the gradient. Of J no, because and B. yeah, yeah, because we uh, use the P. Yeah, just maybe we can just wait for the gradient iteration. Because uh, for the gradient iteration, we have uh, some division for P. So uh, what, okay. what, what's the vector U minus P? Minus V. This one? Yeah. Yeah, U minus V. U minus V is a vector. Yeah. What's the vector? Can, can you show me on the on your figure? Yeah, and then U and some V. Yeah. What was the where's the vector? One dp is the same this same direction. Just the magnitude will change as the slope change, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so if u is uh, uh, u is equal to b. Uh, yeah, you should over the over something to normalize. I mean, p is this direction. Yeah, yeah. You 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 you, you have to. In this case, it's a. Uh, it's the mag magnitude of u minus p and the magnitude of p times together times cosine theta. Yeah, yeah, it's the inner product. But this one is the inner product of the p and u, u minus p. Actually, it's okay probably because we care about the distance there. Yeah, and the distance always is uh, yeah, it's zero. It's not negative. It's a non-negative uh, distance. 
time because this one is not usual distance for the V and U. The, this one is not equal together. The pregnant distance of the U and U is not equal to the pregnant distance of the V and V and V and U. So if U is equal to V, this one is equal together, and you just just change V and the V was on U. change this function and make the um, measurement kind of, um, for example, like if you have something like uh, UV, generally you say a distance of this UV, maybe you just say V minus U or the absolute value or the square or something like that. But, but now instead is that you define a very arbitrary function, like any function of J here is supposed to be complex. And then like, oops, you put V, you let me to be you also. And then like when you do a backward distance of this um, U and V with this function J here, basically what you do is I start with the V here and then you draw a line that is basically tangent tangential to that point. And then like I point you here and that is how you define the backward distance. And that's it. So of course you can go high dimension also you can have, this is one here high high dimension you just have the ball here and a point here, and also another point here, like, like this is a ball here, like this point is V here, and I don't know how to draw that. Ah, uh, I don't know. And there's another point U here, then maybe the tangent is like somewhere I don't know how to draw And then like this will be the double distance also. So, and Sean said that what's the Direction, something like that, because it's one D, the direction is the same, right? So this U minus V is like that, the vector P is also like that. I mean, distance wise. P in the sense that, okay, this is the slope all almost equal to zero, but if I assume the slope is actually this is positive, just imagine this is positive, then P will be this direction. But it's the other way around, if like around here, then my P probably is like it. Right. So my P will be that direction. Right? Yeah. In this case, P is uh, this that direction. This one or this one? P yes. here, P, it doesn't matter. P is yeah, just, the, the just gradient uh, of this point. Right? Yeah, it's so if 1D it would be just either this direction or this direction. <laughs> because this one does not, yeah. So and uh, based on the based if, on the yeah, if positive slope would be this direction, that would be this direction. Is it, so it double here, P is the primitive here, just change the here to here, okay. just positive. So, so only thing you need to show is like that when right? you have a slope here, something like that, and let's say this slope is with a P, and then you have this is um this is a P minus P here, then I kind of this will be something equal to that way. Right? That that kind of makes sense, right? This is just like high school that like uh, this is have y is equal to this is like the slope by right? slope like m or something like that in high school I guess. So this is like you have this um let's say this is x zero and then this is like all that you can think of this is just origin. But this is x something like that, then this would be just n times x, right? Okay. So here, if we 
can only consider this. Then, then, then just this point, right? Just this point minus this point. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They also yeah. consider yeah. the angle. Yeah. That means. Oh, wow. No, I know oh, it's here. No, nothing angle. Yeah, I know it's in the look at the picture. Look at the picture. You have J here. I just, I just count. Um, yeah, draw, draw the along that function and then propagate to that point linearly and take the difference. So I guess I, the most interesting thing is we can have arbitrary function to define a family of the measures this way. Yeah, just, there are two points. One of them is the T, we just the slope here, and another thing that it is just u. Oh, so just find, for example, here. But uh, before starting the brilliant situation, uh, for example, we have this uh, this problem. We want to solve this minimization. Just assume that the B is the noisy image. Because yeah, just because 
the UK is in this. Just define the BK here as B plus UK. Yeah, just we have the UK here. So, okay. It's a noisy image, and uh, you you have this unknown noiseless image, and everything is a noise. But, but there is a subscriber on you. You is a, a known image. Yeah, but you is a known image. If unknown you is known by you need a subscriber. You need one? Yeah, the, the superscript page. On um, you? Yeah. This one is just a definition for the BK, B, K plus 1. But this U one. is a known image, right? Actually, it's not unknown, unknown image. Unknown. This one is unknown, unknown image. image. And there is a U in the Yeah, but this one is unknown. Far ahead. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But then you have a question. So we write to it to have the noise image. This noise image is given or? Okay, because we want to. You want to find the, uh, the noise image from here and use here. Uh, 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 you want to reduce the noise? Yeah. Uh, you want to, yeah, this equation is just, we want to find the um, higher contrast image. The image has the higher contrast. So is it the U? You yeah. want to try, try to find the U? We want to find the U hat. But why do we... Well, I mean that we want to find the... Yeah, because we don't we don't know anything about the unknown noise image. Yes, we yes. want to find yeah the just estimation of the you you had. Yeah, I guess the question is uh, B is given, and we want to denoise it to get U. Yes. But but why we need to change the noise image, the input image? Yeah. 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 Uh, because B is here in the iteration. K okay. plus one step, you update the noise image. Mm -hmm. um, Here, you want to just add, just try to add the. Yeah, something I can okay, accept. You want to just solve this equation to find the higher, the, the cleaner uh, image. Yes. Has the higher, the higher contrast. I mean, so, uh, we just you want to just uh, add, always add the. Uh, residual to to this minimization and just find the clear uh, image. But you, your B is observation, right? So yes. So how, how can you change your observation? Right? It's, it's a noise. No, we just update. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, what's your motivation? Your motivation is try to find the U given B, right? We want to find the you had. You, sorry. Yeah, so you, you had is a, is the optimal minus the value of you, right? Here you is a variable. It's your unknown variable. Yes. But B is your observation. How can you change your observation? I mean, given this observation B, you, you buy. You no, first, first of all, uh, our B, yeah, B zero is equal to zero. What? No, yeah. It's impossible. Uh, you said B is a noisy image. Yeah, B is noisy image. So it can't be zero. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No. Yeah. So if you initialize u zero, 
is equal to B, that, that's logical. You, you start from the noise image and then you improve it by iteration. But if you set B to zero, I, I don't know. I, I think B zero and U zero was uh, the B0 minus U0 plus the original D create an X B. And because of this, after iteration, first iteration, we have original noise image. Oh, okay, that, that looks fine. Actually, he's substituting the first B0 minus U0, yeah? Okay. So you start with B1, don't you? Mm -hmm. B1 is equal to. It, she doesn't change the B. The B is supposed to be fixed. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just B0. And for example, B1 is equal to B. Okay. Because it's an iteration, you just started with okay. K equal to 0 first. Yes. It's just that this one just started. But the B1 is equal to B. Okay. And the B is equal to B. Okay. is equal to B. And B is the double. So for B2, we have
for if you want to uh, minimize the object function, can you, can you use other like um, other types of uh, like iterative method, like Newton's method, or like conjugate gradient? Yeah. Uh, can you use it? So what's the major difference between this one and uh, this one? For example, uh, this yeah, just difference of this iteration, this one and this one. This one is just exactly just based on. For example, if the JU is equal to uh, JU is equal to mean TBU, this one is just exactly based on the T. But this one just find just exact just based on the TB based fragment iteration and just find the just find the UK with the previous previous U. Yeah, I mean other iterative methods are uh, the, the pr procedure is similar. Mm -hmm. I mean, you you always start from some U and you improve mm -hmm. it. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did find anything about that. But yeah, something I think I know about the brain iteration and any other okay. one. I think because the in each iteration, just add. Uh, BK, yeah, I just maybe just kept the track of the BK. Uh, the pregnant iteration for the, for example, for the denoising part, they just work on the contrast. Yeah, because uh, just for the each iteration, just uh, subtract of the noise and the residual of the new hat and new one. Yeah, maybe for the, yeah, for the next, uh, because yeah, I think maybe I can just implement this uh, iteration and for the next uh, presentation I'm going to compare this together because yeah, I'm curious about it. How, because I read the paper about using the brain iteration uh, sorry, super resolution using the brain iteration and also I read the paper about the super resolution of the gradient of the example S super season. S super season is really common for the super resolution but uh, it was the first time I read the very iteration for that. Maybe I can just compare of this together. Okay. Iteration till uh, T of the UK and U should be equal to zero or near to zero, or maybe some, yeah, like the uh, some of the iteration. Maybe for example, we can just reach it to for example 100 iteration. Okay, as the UK.
Yeah, it has the on um, something like the before. Yeah. Okay. So UK is the is the result you got yeah. from the previous mm -hmm. measure. And if just come in to see this one. What covers? Why? This one? Yeah. Yeah. DP D A P. What you write? Yes. Not. So the, the first the constraint just make sure U K and U can be overlap, right? If yeah, overlap, just, yeah, exactly. Something that for example here, yeah. you want to just find that this for example, yeah, the house six. Yeah. Just find so, that this one is exactly in that Yeah, yeah. so what, what's the advantage of this distance? Like but why why you just use uh L two or L band or you can get the same result. Yeah, but this one is uh, another iteration, something like this. Let's see something. Uh, I mean, if you see the first constraint, you can you cannot see the difference. It just make sure U K and U are get together uh, finally. Then you can no. find the distance. Right. If U K and U are on the same point, then the distance. But we don't. But we don't know anything about the U. Uh, we don't know anything about the. Yeah, but where is you? Just even, try to find that. Even if you use the two norm, you still don't know you. I mean, it's the same. Yeah. Okay. I mean, the argument. <laughs> we we were we were thinking, what's the benefits of using this distance measure instead of two norm? So this two measurement. What's the difference? You mean the why, why is better? Maybe? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Maybe just square arrow or some of the arrow. It, both of them try to make sure you and UK get together. There's something I just read it. It was. Uh, they said that the. Yeah, just we use the primary iteration because of the because of the using the convex set and uh, yeah and primary iteration form on the uh, yeah the convex set yeah but I think convex set, if you have a convex set you the the rest of iterative method are all the yeah I think something that you can just okay. say that why you use a sequence descent or gradient descent well. One argument was uh, some iterative me method converge like quadratically or linearly. Well, it's one is faster, one is slower. But I mean, think you based on the type of function you choose and the speed of the convergence make the change.
follow this formulation, yes. But why we fo follow this formulation? This formulation, I think, just defined from the. Yeah, I, I'm just curious. I, yeah. <laughs> How do you solve the first equation anyway? How do you actually do the minimization? Here. Yeah. For the p. How do you get u? You need to get u. To get u k plus one, you need to solve the minimization problem, right? Yeah. So how how do you solve it in practice? Yeah, u is unknown here. Yeah, u is unknown. How do you measure the difference between u k and u? This this iteration, the u example, just first the u zero and after that u one. Yeah, u u so u k is unknown. Yes, but u you said is not unknown. Yeah. How how do you get how do you evaluate this? Uh, well, I simply have to solve the how do you solve u k plus one? Oh yeah, for the this solving yeah I this uh, yeah this one yeah, this was, yeah, yeah I want to just try for that one for okay. the next presentation. Oh, because uh, it has, uh, no, it has another uh, iteration too. Yeah. It has a three three parts and just add another thing here for the for the finding the Yeah, it's complex. Um.